Hi there, welcome to uh, another CS6 tutorial. Uh, we're going to be looking at Illustrator today, and in specific, we're going to be looking at the uh, pattern making tool. Uh, the pattern making tool is a, a brand new feature uh, with CS6, and it makes uh, pattern designers and even web designers' lives a lot easier. Uh, it makes creating those uh, time consuming patterns very quick. And we're going to jump straight into it, and as you can see, we have a, a simple love heart here. So I'm just going to select the love heart and then do object pattern and make and we get this little pop up that says that the patterns are not the swatches panel um, any changes that you make because it is in like an isolation mode uh, will be applied to the swatch upon exit so we should go ok you can turn that off by clicking on don't show again and instantly we are thrown into the pattern options I'm going to call the pattern queen of hearts you don't have to call it anything you can actually just leave them uh, and it'll just go in a sequential order, pattern 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth. And then we have tile type. You can have grid, brick by row, brick by column, hex by column, or hex by row. Um, brick by row or brick by column, you can have brick offset, so this is a half overlap. So it's copied it up and it's moved it 50% across. And on this one it's moved it up and it's moved it a quarter across or a quarter to the left, it all depends how you want to look at it. So if I go three quarters, it makes it a quarter over. It's all different ways of taking it. So I'm actually going to put it on half. That's quite a nice uh, a nice pattern. And then brick by column, that's the same. It's a half, on it goes up and down this time. It's in columns. Hex by column um, basically changes the size of the... Uh, change the size of the pattern so uh, we can make it size tile to art and then if I change this to 15 mil change this to 15 mil it makes the hexagon a bit bigger and pushes it out and then you can see that it patterns around it it's the same with hex by row we can make it even bigger we can make it 30 by 30 and it just makes the hexagon a little bit bigger and we can remove swatch by bands and you can actually see how it seamlessly tiles all of this there so you can see that this top part here is patterned there and the top piece there is patterned there within the hexagon. I'm just going to keep it nice and simple and we're going to go on grid and I'm going to put my horizontal spacing and vertical spacing to in fact tens a little bit too little so I'm going to make it 17.5 on each okay so I'm happy with that there's a couple of other options there's overlap so if you have uh, things like uh, I don't know say if you pattern an ice cream cone and you have some different colors um, you can bunch the ice cream cone together and then you can overlap it so it goes from left to right or from right to left and you can have top overlap top overlapping bottom or bottom overlapping top okay so I'm gonna keep it on grid and I'm pretty happy with that and then we're just going to go on done and you'll think oh no it's disappeared but it hasn't it's just created it over in the swatches panel as you can see queen of hearts so then I'm just going to select rectangle go down and it's selected red as it's the highlighted one but I'm actually going to select the blue change it up to a nice sky blue pretty happy with that and then I'm going to select another rectangle draw that again and then I'm going to select our gorgeous pattern and you can see it is seamlessly tiled it across so then I can expand this a little bit and you can see that it's moved it across which is pretty cool so there we have it that's our tutorial on pattern making uh, I hope you've enjoyed it uh, feel free to leave any comments don't forget you can follow us and like us and we hope to see you soon.